Welcome back to Cardades.org. Today we're going to be starting a brand new series entitled What's a Philosophy Degree Worth? Now, according to the webcomic XKCD, philosophy is just math sounds rigor, sense, and practicality. Jokes about the impracticality of philosophy abound. There are two things to do with a PhD in philosophy. Teach or pose the question, but do you know why you want fries with that? Even philosophy majors that have gained success and fame often deride the major. Bruce Lee, who was a philosophy major, said it is a degree that lets you think deep thoughts about being unemployed. However, for others, philosophy is the most important thing that you could do. Only philosophers are able to study the big questions about what is right and wrong, whether God exists, or what we can know. According to Socrates, the unexamined life is not worth living. So what should we do? What should a practical person interested in philosophy but afraid of living like Diogenes in a tub on the street do? This miniseries will attempt to walk through the answers to this question, dismiss some myths about the practicality of a philosophy degree, and provide some advice for selling your philosophy degree in interviews or at the dinner table with family. The point of this series is not necessarily to convince you to major in philosophy. A formal degree in philosophy is not for everyone. One of my motivations for making this channel was to make philosophy accessible to a wider audience than those who can afford to get a degree in it, because philosophy is valuable to everyone. We make moral decisions and assess the validity of arguments every day, from deciding whether to fake calling in sick to work to spend more time with your family, or deciding if a politician's speech is convincing, you are doing philosophy on a daily basis, whether you realize it or not. But many people study philosophy as a passion, a hobby, or a side hustle. Even Spinoza didn't quit his day job as a lens grinder to do philosophy. You don't need formal training in philosophy to study these important questions, but it can help. This series will look at the pros and cons of majoring in philosophy and what you can do with a philosophy degree once you have it. So, the first series in... The first video in this series, rather, is going to look at the question, should I major in philosophy? For any of you undergrads out there that are questioning whether or not you should pick philosophy as your major. Then we're going to move on to what can you do with a philosophy degree? Seven different jobs for philosophers. This is going to go into for both people that have a philosophy degree but are looking in the job market, but also people who are picking a major and want to be convinced that a philosophy degree is in some way a practical degree to have, we'll take a look at some jobs that philosophy majors often get. Then we'll take a look at how to sell your philosophy degree in a job interview. These are gonna be eight ways to pitch your degree in a job interview and at the dinner table with family who may be questioning why they're paying tens of thousands of dollars for you to get a degree in thinking. Um, and finally, we'll take a look at will I ever use a philosophy degree? Even if you think philosophy is practical or useful, you may be concerned that you're learning a lot of facts that you may never really use. So we'll look at some day-to-day -day ways in which philosophy's degrees are very, very useful. So with that, stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series where we will dig into all of these questions more for now. A huge thank you to Dennis Sexton for supporting Carnades.org on Patreon since 2016. That's quite a while. You too can support the channel and get access to Patreon exclusive posts for just $2 a month. That's less than the price of buying me a cup of coffee once a month. And if you want to support public philosophy like this, please do consider donating. With that, what did, did you major in philosophy? Did you find success in your career? Did you find fulfillment in your life? Did you choose not to major in philosophy and are happy because of it or sad because of it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series covering the worth of a philosophy degree. Subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to make sure you don't miss them, and stay skeptical, everybody.